everybody, it's Lisa, the owner of Vintage Gypsy, and I'm the admin of the Silk Wet School for Newbies. I'm going to show you how to use the conular wrap function. That one is only available in Designer Edition Plus and Business Edition. So if you have Basic or Designer Edition, I'm sorry, but you're not going to be able to use this function. But it's always a good opportunity to upgrade to the next level. So I'm going to show you real quick. It's super easy to go in here. Um, I'm going to show you how you warp words with it. You can also use it to um, put vinyl on cups. That's one of the main reasons why they used it, because it needs to arch a certain way. So let me show you. I'll do it in all caps. Okay. So I would use this if I am just going to go in and I want to arch some words. It's really easy to do. So first I'm going to change my font. So I've typed in a word that I want. I use the A on the left side of the toolbar that says text. To change your font, you're going to go back to the right side and open your text style window. I'm going to use the one that I used earlier. So here it is. Now if I want to warp that function using the conlinear wrap, my screen may look different than yours because I do run business edition and I've went in um, and set up my preferences. Anytime you have the software installed, you need to set up your preferences. There's a video out there on my YouTube channel called Preference and Setup, and you can make your um, buttons way bigger and do some other cool stuff with it. So we're going to go to where it looks like a fence or a fence that's being squished. That's called the warp panel. It pops open. I want you to think of these panels as filing cabinets. So we have a warp filing cabinet, and now we're going to go to the drawer that says conular warp. So we have two tabs in there. So it's going to say Warp Selected Shapes. You have to make sure that it is selected. Click on that. So what it's going to do is it's basically going to ask you what size is your cup or mug. So you would measure the top, the bottom, how tall it is, and then how much you want the arch. We are not putting this on a cup today. But if you chose to do that, you would simply just go in and change the size of your cup. And you can do that by using the sliders, but you can also use it to type in as well. Okay, but that's not what we're doing today. And then I can make my cup eight inches tall if I want to. So let me do my undo button because it's decided that it wanted to um, flip it. So typically what I do is I don't worry so much about these things. I do want to be able to see my words. But you can actually change your arch. So if I don't want it to be that this way, I want to arch it the opposite direction, change your sizing. See how when I slide this around, it's going to make it arch on a different level. Okay. This also will give you more of an arch. The only part this does is it moves it up and down from the lip of the cup to the bottom of the cup. So if you watch over here on the screen. So you can move it towards the bottom to make it more warped, or you can raise it to the top. So there's a lot more functionality here besides just using this for cups. So if it's something you're considering about upgrading to, I do suggest it because you do have more of an option to actually warp or curve a lot of your words this way. So once you get it where you like it, you actually have to hit apply. And once you apply it, you cannot go back in and change it. It's just like when you ungroup something or release the compound path. But you can actually tell here by these boxes we need to group it. So usually you can right click and group or you can go up to the quick access toolbar and group as well. And that is just the down and dirty of how you use the Conley or Wrap to warp words. I'm sure Conley or Warp. I always call it the wrap because I think of wrapping it around a cup. So there you go. If you guys have any questions, you can get a hold of me.